Do you uh, have like a when you do a bid? Is it like just a single price that you just like boom? It's going to be twenty five hundred bucks for this, or is there a range? Is there? Do you have like a? Do you have packages? Do you have like two or three prices? There's no right and wrong about pricing because pricing is communicating. So again, business is about relationships. Relationships is about communication. No matter what it is, painting, tile, you know, lawyers, doctors, whatever, this is business we're talking about, relationships. There's only one P and that's people. Without people, there's no products, there's no placement, there's no positioning, there's no nothing. I generally just say, this is my price and this is the value you get. I know some painting companies and other contractors that give a low price and a high price. And they say, it's going to fall within this. Um, that can be, that's not clear. That can be confusing to some homeowners. However, mm -hmm. that presents options to homeowners to say, oh, well, what does this mean? And that, what that does is that allows you dialogue. That allows you to communicate more. And if you're a good sales and if you understand sales, then you can now bring in the sales position and show them what they get for this low one. And what it's kind of like tears, right? Um, however, I've noticed that if I just stick to my guns and say, this is who I am, this is what I provide, this is the value, this is the trust that you're going to get with me, nine times out of 10, you're eliminating the calories of thought in the head of the, of the, of the homeowner. And furthermore, Donald Miller, he uh, wrote a book called Story Brand. He's an awesome educator, mentor. Uh, he always talks about that. It's kind of like the hero's journey. This is the customer's story. This is their journey. It's, they're the hero. They, the customer's mm. not always right, but they're the, always the hero. And so at the end of the day, you want to make them win. You don't want to make them wrong. You want to make them right. And price discovery is part of their journey. And that's part of the roadblock. The villain is the, is, is the, is the high price. The, the villain is the guy that doesn't, you know, the bad painter or whatever. So the story brand talks about the hero's journey of your customer. Painting is no different. It's no different. So coming back to your question, Greg, there's no right way to price. Uh, sometimes people say this is the base price and everything cost plus is X amount per, you know, or whatever, right? So I think the clearer you are in your communication, the clearer you are in your pricing, hopefully leads to the sales, sales conversion. I'm on Facebook and I've every other post on Fainer, on Painter's Facebook groups is how much should I charge for this? How much should I charge for that? And almost always, the number one thing I reply to is how much value are you bringing? Right. Because your price reflects your value. That's just it. Yeah. And do, where do you sit in terms of the marketplace? Are you good, better, or best? You, you know, you'll find almost anywhere you go that you will always find a higher price, a higher price service and a low price service in both rich communities and poor communities. So the, the, the map is, it doesn't, they don't, coalesce in any one particular spot it's always there's always a range of service offerings and prices in your market and it could this applies to kind of any product or service watch the full interview on youtube like and share it on social media and join the academy at trusted house painter and grow your painting business